Greetings! Welcome back to Cube Plays Minecraft. My name is Cubulus. There goes my dog. What are you doing, Milo? Sun's going down, bud. Gotta get inside. So we have a very, very fun project to do today. Today, we are going to build an automated rail system. Before we can go build our rail system, we need to build a few things. So as you can see in my inventory, um, I went to the uh, I went to the Nether and got a bunch of Nether quartz, and I did some more caving. Oh, we're gonna need gold. We're gonna use a lot of our gold. We have quite a bit, but uh, we're gonna be using. I'm going to and take all of it, and then whatever we don't use, we'll I'll bring back. Let's take F14. It's good. Okay, so we need the gold to build. We're gonna build. Uh, let's go ahead and build some of the things right now. I'll show you. First thing we're going to need. Now, like I said, this is a pretty simple build, but it does require some, um, it, it does require some resources that you need to gather from varied places, underground, the nether, above ground. First, we're going to need a redstone comparator, and we'll talk more about how that works when we start building. We're going to need a lot of redstone torches, so let's go ahead and break this up. 64. We'll start with 64 redstone torches. So we need 23 more. Alright, now we have a stack of redstone torches. I don't know if we'll need that many, but now we have it. Okay, another thing we're going to need quite a bit of. I have a lot of rail. In fact, I have several stacks down in the abandoned mine shaft, but I'm going to need powered rail. In order to build that, we put gold down either side of the crafting bench. And we put a piece of redstone here and a stick there. And that gives a yield of six powered rail. We're going to need probably 60 of them, maybe 70. Here we are on top of the mountain where I built my nether portal and my enchanting station. Here's Milo. I know I've been, I've been leaving him at the house for every episode, which I feel very guilty about. You need to take your dogs out and walk them. Right, Milo? Yep. So uh, here's what we're going to do. I've laid out just kind of a little outline of where the receiving shack, receiving shed is going to be for my automated uh, ore rail system. So here's what's going to happen. Right down there, if you see right above my crosshair down there, there's a little patch of brown. That's the entrance to a ravine. It's actually a big hole in the ground. We're going to have to modify it a bit so that the rail can come out of there. And then down at the bottom of the ravine and then through a cave is my abandoned mine shaft. And what we're, what we're going to do is have the rail um, come up through there. Well, first of all, there'll be a starting station down there where I can send a mine cart with a chest up with all of the resources I've mined and gathered. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to send that up and it's gonna, the rail's going to come out of the ravine there. And then it's going to come along the, the little uh, lakeside here. Past my... Um, there's the entrance, the walking entrance to my mines. But anyway, past the corral where I park my horse when I go down. And then it's going to curve around here. And then go over there and then up the side of this mountain. And then kind of... I th what I want to do is create a little tunnel, which is cool. Because I, when I was a kid I thought tunnels were awesome. And then the, the, it's, the rail line is going to pop out of the ground right here and into the receiving shed. And then when the ores get in the shed, um, the minecart with the chest is going to stop and it's going to dump all the resources into a chest. And as soon as it's done dumping all of the resources into a double chest, then the, the minecart with the chest will be sent back to me down at the bottom of the mine shaft. It's pretty simple redstone, pretty simple device. Very exciting, though. Um, so let's get to work on that. So as you can see, the first thing I've done is laid out a little bit of a... Uh, just markers to show me where the shed's going to go. And uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put the mine... Well, the first thing I need to do, actually, is create the floor. So let's get started on that. I'm going to be explaining what I'm doing as I go along. For anyone watching this who knows Redstone, this will probably be basic for you. But for anybody watching who does not know anything about redstone, and you've always wanted to know, but you were afraid to ask, then hopefully uh, this video will answer some questions for you. So let's go ahead and get started. I've made a hopper, 
which um, for those of you who don't know, let me just show you. The way you make a hopper is you oops. You have two iron there, two iron there, one there. And then you put a chest in the middle and that creates a hopper. And I will be showing you, this build will show you exactly what a hopper does. So let's go ahead and take a nap. Try to avoid as many monsters as possible. Very good. Okay, so the first thing we're going to lay down is um, the receiving chest. This is the chest where all the items which I send up from my mine, um, they will end up in this chest. Okay, so in order for that to happen, we need rail um, to be to come right up to the chest. So like this, we're going to put a couple normal rails there. Now here what we need to do is we need to take our hopper. Okay, and what you do is you face the chest um, from whichever side you'd like the hopper to be touching it. And then you shift so that you're crouched and place. So there, therefore, the little nozzle, usually what it does is it comes straight down to the ground. But because I shifted and faced the, um, faced the chest and placed the hopper, the nozzle is now pointing in to that chest. So if I deposit items into the hopper, they are now being deposited into the chest automatically. Oops, I should have done that the other way. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is take some powered rail. I already have it on the bar. And again, I need to shift and point my cursor at the top of the hopper and place it like so. Okay, so um, now what will happen is if we send a chest up from the, or a mine cart with a chest up from the mines, once it lands here, then as soon as it's on top of this hopper and on top of this rail, it will start depositing items into the chest. Okay. Next thing we need to do is take our redstone comparator, jump up on top of the hopper here, and we facing, as long as I'm facing away from the hopper, I can place this comparator next to it so that the triangle, see how it forms kind of an arrow pointing away? So what this now does, before when I put items in the in the hopper, um, you know, it would just, it would automatically deposit them, which is cool. But if I put a comparator here, and now if I put items in the hopper, not only does it deposit them in the chest because of my placement, but a redstone signal sent out through the comparator, which is awesome. And there are several other items, which in future videos I'll, I'm sure I'll um, deal with those. But for now we're just going with the hopper. Uh, the comparator works really well with the hopper in that regard. Okay, so let's get that back. Okay, so now that a power signal is be sent, being sent out, it's a pretty weak power signal, but it's enough to send power to this block. Okay, and now on top of this block, I want to place a redstone torch. Now redstone torches, they send out redstone signals in their natural state. There's nothing you have to do to power them. But here's the thing, if you, if you do send power to that redstone torch, it will turn off. And it's what they call inverting a signal, because what you're doing, rather than, I mean generally when you're trying to build something that, that is powered, your first line of thinking always is, oh I need the power to be on all the time. But the cool thing about redstone is, that uh, if you get into it, you'll find that it's also important when you're building circuits and redstone contraptions to, to um, there's also, there's a place and time for, um, for turning off the power. And that's going to be a component of this build, which is very interesting. Okay, so now if we put the dirt in the hopper, the items are going into the chest, redstone signals coming out of the hopper, Powering this block. This block is powering the torch. And because the torch was already on, the torch is now off. Oh, and the item is just finished, and the torch turned back on. Very cool. Okay, so you may be asking, well, why do we need to do that? Well, we're not done yet. There's more. So, as you can see, I've placed... Um, you may have been wondering, why did I place a powered rail on top of the hopper? Well, now we're going to find out why. Let's get our redstone. Okay, so what we need to do 
is from this path the torch which is on we need to send a signal going to this block so that we power this block which in turn powers the powered rail so now this is always on so let's build a uh, let's build a powered minecart and I'll show you what's what's going on here or sorry not a powered minecart but a minecart with a chest so in order to do that we need a minecart and a chest put the minecart on top of the chest and you get a minecart with chests simple enough okay now let me show you what happens here if I were to place a minecart with a chest on top of this rail which I will do now it sends the uh, minecart away okay I'm gonna have to get that back okay so when the minecart with a chest comes up from the mines the minute it hits this if we don't have a way of turning this off then it's just gonna shoot the minecart with a chest back down to my mine which what I want it to do is to arrive, have this, um, I want the power to go off here on the powered rail so that the minecart can sit there and empty all the contents. Then as soon as the contents are, have been emptied in this chest, I want this to turn back on the powered rail and shoot my minecart back down to the mine. So that's what all this is about. So remember, let's say we, let's say we, uh, let's just do a little experiment here. We're going to put a powered rail here and we need to let me set this up really quick cut that out cut it out oops that's what we want and then next we want oh we're gonna need a button let's go ahead and make one of those okay like so okay let's get our uh, mine cart with a chest back now let's put the dirt in okay so what why what I want is for the mine cart with the chest to arrive at my station the powered rail to turn off and the dirt to be deposited in the chest as soon as the dirt is in the chest I want the mine cart to go back so let's go ahead and send it what I've done here for those of you who don't know as you saw I put powered rail under here it's not powered though there's no redstone signal but something that can send a redstone signal is a button or a lever. So I can, as soon as I hit this button, it's going to send the mine cart with the chest up there. So let's go ahead and do that. Now look, as you can see, the dirt is being deposited because, remember, when there are items in this hopper, it sends a redstone signal to the torch, which turns off, which turns off this redstone, which in turn turned off the powered rail make sense let's try that one more time okay put the dirt in now let's pretend that this here this sending station let's pretend it's way down underground in my mine okay so what I'm gonna do down there I'll hit the button send the mine cart up the hill up the mountain past Milo and onto the receiving station and it'll be moving faster than that so we won't have that weird kind of I mean, it's still working, but it won't have that weird placement signal coming out of the hopper because there are items going through. Oh, the item's just finished. Turn the signal back on, and it shoots the minecart back down to me in the mine. Pretty slick, huh? All right. So I'm going to go ahead, and now that we have this part, the receiving end of the minecart station, I'm going to finish this minecart station, and then I'm going to go down in underground, and I'm going to... Um, I'll come back and I'll um, we'll build the sending station. Okay, so here we go.
We are just about done with the receiving shed. Oops, did I miss a torch there? As soon as I place this torch, yep, there's just one last thing to do. Let me just go around. I just want to look around here. Make sure that I've got everything correct. Yes, yes, I do. Oh, what? I thought I put it. Oh. Well, I missed that torch, too. Let's see if we can get this straight. There we go. Okay. Oh, and... I guess we're not quite done. Oh, wow, look at this. Three. Perfect. And we're out. Excellent. So this here is kind of like our little... The little... Uh, maintenance door where we can go back and if any redstone repairs need to happen we can take care of that okay so we may alter that a little later um oh can i put a bed in there i think i can let's try that just for fun ha <laughs> yeah all right when we're up here on the mountain working that'll kind of be our little our little shelter very nice okay the last thing I want to do here before we go down into the mines, oops, not really a way through there, is there? I may have to change that up a bit. Um, let's get the glass back on the bar. Now, if we put a piece of glass here and here, now, okay, what I did there is I had to shift click uh, to lay the glass because otherwise it opens up the furnace. Um, you can still open up the chest even though there's a block above it. So I've placed these uh, furnaces here, so if I send up any gold or iron, I can take them out and start smelting them. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and head down into the mine shaft. We will build the sending station, and then we will build the rail up through the ravine up to the mountain, and then we'll test it out, make sure everything's working. I just wanted you to see what the uh, entrance to the ravine looks like from top side. It's right here. Here's my forward operating base one. There's my bed. Here are my supplies, which I'll be sending up to the receiving shed. Now I've built a new room here. And this is where I'm going to send out. This is the sending station. This is where I'm going to send out the supplies. So let's start working on that. Got some smooth stone here, and I want to put one here one here and then what we do next is we put a powered rail here and then we have that button you know I think I want a stone button can I make that doing this no do I need yep guess stone makes a stone button makes sense huh okay we'll put that there when I hit that button it powers the rail and if there were a minecart on there it would go shooting out okay so that's simple. That's the sending station. That's all we had to do. <laughs> and now comes the fun part. I'm going to build... I was going to build a tunnel through my mountain. That's what this is all about. I was just going to tunnel up through here. But I thought, you know, I already have a cave on the way out. Or I already have a cave to get out. I may as well just put the rail through this cave to the one side. And then maybe in the future I can put another rail system next to it that will be my transport. But for now, I, I just, I'm interested in sending up lots of supplies at a time. So, it's time to get to work on that, and away we go.
right, guys, it is the moment of truth. The rail system is set. Now, the first thing I want to do is test it to make sure that all the powered rails are properly placed so I can make it to the top of the mountain. So we're going to go for a little ride. Before my gear goes up the mountain, I get to go up the mountain. I'm first. Here we go. Good so far. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Here we go into the ravine. Up, up, up the stairs. Past the waterfall. Across bridge number one. It crossed bridge number two. Out into the open air. Past another lovely waterfall. There's my horse corral. Okay, now we're going to go into the mountain here. I love tunnels, man. Love them. Right, do a little, little twist here. And, 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 yes, we made it to the top. All right, let's get out. All right, I think, uh, yeah, the minecart went in the hopper. I took away the powered rail so that he wouldn't send us back right away. So let's put that back. Let's go grab. Hey, Milo. That was fun, man. I wish you could come with me. Uh, let's grab the minecart, and let's go back now. Let's test it on the way back. Let's see. Yeah. As you can see, I took a heart. I've taken just a heart of uh, fall damage while I've been working. Okay, let's try this again. Going back the other way. Here we go. Whee! Whoa. This is the fun part, man. Going down. Ah, uh, lovely, lovely Minecraft. I'm going to kind of adjust that waterfall a little bit so the bottom looks better. Actually, I want the river to go into the... Uh, whoa! Wow, this is just like Disneyland, man. Woo! Awesome! Love the ravine. Down through the cave. My wall of shame. We're almost back to forward operating bus one and shablam. All right. Excellent. Now there's just one last test. Let's see. I guess we could send this wood up. Do you know what? Let's send up. Um, let's see what do we got here. What do I need up there? I, I need cobble. So let's go ahead and take... Uh, let's take... Um, what am I doing? 28... Let's see. Yeah, 28 cobble. Oh, smooth stone. I'll need that too. Okay, sorry. I'm having a hard time making up my mind. Okay, first thing we need to do is convert this into a... Uh, where's that chest? What? I don't see it there. Did I put it away? Oh, I probably put it in here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. First thing we need to do is make a minecart with a chest. Like so. Awesome. Put it on the track. Now let's go ahead and put 25 stone in. All right. Here's the moment of truth to see if this really works. Here we go. Let's send her on up. And we're just going to wait here. Goodbye. Farewell. All right. So we will wait here until the chest comes back. And then, if it's empty, we will go to the top of the mountain ourselves. And we will see if the contents are in the chest. And if so, we're successful. And we've done a good job. And if not... If it doesn't work, then we're worthless, and I'm never going to record another video again. I'm going to take my computer outside, and I'm going to beat it to death, just like those guys did on Office Space with the printer they hated. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that drastic of a person. Or am I? The world may never know. You know what we need in here? We need a jukebox. We can listen to some music while we're waiting. Man, this better be working. Let's go have a look. Have a peek. Maybe it's coming down. You coming back? Oh no, do you know what? I want to stay in that room because I want to make sure it works while I'm chilling in there. So, we'll just wait. Patience. 
patience is a virtue. <gasps> okay, it's the moment of truth. Open the chest. Empty. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and get up there and make sure this worked. I'm going to ride the minecart. Yes, sir. Bam. This is exciting. I hope it's not dark outside. You know what? I should have checked and made sure. <laughs> I should have slept. If it's dark. Uh, oh, it's dark. Uh, we'll chance it. See what happens. It'll be an adventure. Wish me luck. I don't want to die. If there's a mob. If there are like tons of mobs on the rail, then I'm screwed. Let's see what happens. So good so far. I put torches there. Oop, there's the zombies. There's a spider that's going to come after us. Hello, spider. Bam. Oh, I missed him. Okay, good. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't die, don't die. Whew, got a lot. I put the torches at the top of that thing. Otherwise, it would have been filled with creepers or something. Okay, we're going to jump out at the very end. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome. Ready for bed. Except that I lost my mine card. It went back, but that's okay. Okay. Wow, I'm glad I put that bed there. That was that was pretty slick. That was kind of cool. Okay, let's check the surrounding area. Make sure we're not going to get killed. Well, there are doors here. Okay, moment of truth. Here we go. 25 stone in the chest. Yeah! Woo! And I had that dirt in there from earlier. Okay. It works! Awesome! Milo, it works, buddy. It works. All right, Milo, be careful going down this hill. You still with me, buddy? Good. Good doggy. Good doggy. All right, buddy, we are home. Oh, are you looking at the cows? All right, man. You want some to eat, don't you? I think he wants some beef. All right, come on in here, Milo. Come on in, buddy. Come on, don't be shy. Bam! All right, we made it home. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Help support my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next episode. Hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Goodbye.